Hello and welcome to Mechanical Y. Here I have a piece of plastic. And here I have a band made of rubber, also known as an elastic band. Now these are terms that we've heard a lot, elastic and plastic. But do we really know what they mean? Is plastic just a type of material? And does elastic just mean a material stretches? And what does this piece of aluminum have to do with these other two materials? Well, the terms elastic and plastic are engineering terms to describe how a material behaves when it is deformed, or how a material behaves when it changes shape. For instance, when this elastic band changes its shape and is stretched, it will return to its original shape. This is known as elasticity, and this is why it's called an elastic band. And this piece of plastic, it doesn't take a lot to deform this material permanently, and this is known as plasticity when a material is bent and deformed and it holds its new shape without returning to its original shape. So does that mean that this elastic band always behaves in the elastic sense? And does this piece of plastic always experience plastic deformation? And what does this piece of aluminum have to do with either of these two? Well, you notice this piece of plastic, when I bend it slightly, it will bend back to its original shape. But if I bend it too much, the deformation is permanent. Now this elastic band, I can stretch it a lot and it will return to its original shape. But if I stretch it too much, it'll lose its elasticity and undergo plastic deformation. And this piece of aluminum, it takes a lot of force, but if I bend this piece of aluminum just slightly, it will return to its original shape. But if I bend it too much, it'll hold its new shape. In other words, all three of these materials experience both elastic and plastic deformation. The only difference is how much force is required and how large that elastic or plastic region is. Now do all materials behave this way? Do all materials first have an elastic region where you could stretch them slightly and they will return to their original shape before being permanently deformed under plastic deformation? The answer is yes, most materials behave in this way, but not all materials. For instance, a piece of clay will deform very easily and have virtually no elastic region. You can change the shape of a piece of clay almost as soon as you start to deform it. But on the other end of a spectrum, a piece of glass can behave elastically just slightly until it finally shatters, long before it experiences plastic deformation. Now these materials all behave in a different way even though they have similar elastic and plastic deformation properties. Now, the, this information for a particular material is found as what, in what engineers call a stress-strain curve. This is a particular kind of graph that an engineer uses to relate the amount of stress or the amount of force that a material experiences to the strain, which is the amount of deformation that material experiences. And each material has its own stress-strain curve. Now, studying these types of curves, engineers are able to decide what material to use in a particular application. In certain cases, an elastic band will be just right. In other applications, a more rigid piece of aluminum. And in some cases, you do want a piece of plastic that, experiences, that easily experiences plastic deformation. And it's up to the engineer to decide what type of material is most appropriate in a particular case. Well, I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please like and share this video, and please subscribe to stay up to date on new content.